Whoa, watch out. This was a great chapter. Boruto, chapter 33. The last few chapters have been really great battle chapters, at least in my humble opinion. How's it going, guys? Like I said, we're going to be talking about Boruto, chapter 33 in this episode of me talking about stuff. And I'm just really, really enjoying this fight overall. One thing I want to say, though, is that opening page of... Uh, this chapter was super, super good. Naruto's looking real, like, cool and, like, real, real badass. I'll say it that. He's just looking real cool and he's got a real intense face on him and he's just... Nobody getting in his way. He is out of control. I like that cover page a lot. So, awesome battle chapter. Overall, it's just really good. I think Naruto showing his stuff. Delta showing her stuff. I think it's really good. It was a lot of really good hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat and overall just great fighting in general. And it was entirely Naruto and Delta and not the kids getting involved really other than just maybe commenting on stuff. So first of all, Naruto kicks Delta's butt, which is to be expected because I don't, I never thought that he would go down in any way uh, beyond maybe just getting kind of roughed up just a little bit. But at this early point in the uh, kind of learning about Kata and all of the uh, new enemies, I didn't think that Naruto would get taken down, especially since uh, in the very first chapter of Boruto, we have that like flash forward with Boruto and Kawaki, and he says he's the one who dealt with Naruto in some way. So I'm not too worried about Naruto going anywhere anytime soon. Overall, it's a pretty fast chapter, in my opinion, uh, at least as, as fast as a monthly chapter can go. And a lot of that is kind of uh, due to it just being almost entirely combat and very little text, which is honestly really good sometimes because you need uh, a good breakup of, of chapters where some some explaining happens and maybe it's just walls of text and it's it's fine. But then you can also have chapters where it's just like, People getting done. People getting things are done. And when it's done well, it's done very well. And I think they nailed it this chapter. So, long story short, Naruto overpowers Delta. It, up until this point, it's been kind of a back and forth in some capacity. Uh, he's never really been in any major danger. But at the same time, it, the, whole, the whole absorbing chakra and then shooting it back out at you problem has been... Well, a big problem for him. So he's been having to kind of deal with that and figuring out what can he do to combat that other than just hand-to-hand -hand combat. And he kind of basically came up with an old, an oldie but a goodie. It's the old, oh, if you're going to absorb my chakra or my power, I'm just going to keep hitting you with it. It's very similar to how uh, Goku and Dragon Ball Z overpowered that one monster and Bobbity's uh, ship. And just basically just kept feeding him. He had so much energy and so much power that he could just keep feeding him all of it until he popped. And very similar situation happened here. Uh, Naruto kept hitting her with a bunch of Rasengans. And let me just say this. I find the arbitrary names of these Rasengans a little bit much. Uh, he, he goes from regular Rasengan to giant Rasengan to super giant Rasengan. And it's just like, at what point is it not just the same Jutsu only bigger why even name it at that point? Like, just, just, I mean, like, don't, you don't have to shout it at this point. It's just Rasengan. It's just different sizes of it. I'm getting off on a tangent here, though. In any event, he lets her absorb all this kind of chakra and just keeps going because he's, ever since he's been a kid, he's had all kinds of chakra and it's just been really, really in his favor to have so much chakra and not have to worry about expending it. So he basically just fries her. He, he, she, she shorts out, her eye stops working, and that's just basically the end of her. After that, he can just go to town on her with everything that he's got. He hits her with, I think, another uh, Rasengan, just to totally annihilate her. And, well, not totally annihilate her. She's still physically in one piece by the end. But her body starts malfunctioning, and she, she loses her ability to uh, use her little, like, drone thing. And she can't really see and it's just, it's no good for her after she absorbs all the chakra and fries out. Which I think, in the grand scheme of things, will probably be brought back up again as far as a concept goes. Uh, 
up until now, it's just been kind of like a marvel at how, oh, ninja attack is so crazy and it enhances you and it's dangerous, but if you use it right, it can be great. Uh, this is another lesson to learn that even if it makes you super powerful, good old fashioned human uh, uh, trying and uh, training and everything can maybe overpower that. So I think that uh, idea and concept will be brought back up as the battles with Kara uh, continue on. Now, all this being said, even though Delta gets her butt handed to her in the end, she put up a pretty good fight. Naruto is the Hokage. He is essentially a god at this point in terms of just raw power. Him and Sasuke, this is like the one problem with them at this point is that they are so powerful. They went up against essentially another god and were able to go toe to toe with him or her and well madara uh just it, it, they've gotten really really powerful at this point and so to see somebody kind of give him at least some pushback is really kind of nice but at the same time i think they need to be very careful about how they handle it i'm glad that he didn't have too much of a problem with this because again as powerful as he is it would be kind of lame if he suddenly just like I don't know. Duh. Either way, it was a good fight between them, so I'm really happy with that. In general, Naruto's just been really cool over the last couple of chapters, and it's been a while since I've really felt that way about him. Ever since Boruto kind of started, it's been a weird ride between uh, seeing him and Boruto having a rocky relationship, which is fine, but like, it, it's like whiplash. You go from like, really kind of liking Naruto in his own series and being on his side almost the entire time to suddenly I just despised him. He was, I, I got the whole like, oh, he's a busy parent. He's got his job. He's got people to watch out for and blah, blah, blah. But like, I really just did not like him. And I wonder if that's entirely intentional or whether you were supposed to like get it. I, I don't know, but I didn't like his relationship with Boruto. I didn't like how he was acting in general. I just was not down for it. Then he, after the tuning exams and kind of the new fresh arc started, he kind of turned around and I, I started liking his uh, overall personality again. And he was just really cool in this couple of chapters. His, him fighting, it shows that he has not lost his touch at all and he's just really still on it. He's just really badass still, and I really love that. It has been a while. That's all I gotta say about that, I guess. It's just, I, I, I'm i glad that he is showing some some of his old old self a little bit here as far as uh, being cool. And So yeah, I just really like that he, he maybe didn't have to go full on out. Uh, he was obviously in his cloaked form a little bit, but at the same time, he still put out a, put some pretty good effort, and that's really cool. I like seeing him actually... Go, go out to some degree. Not full out, but pretty decently. And it's due to him kind of looking, maybe not, again, roughed up or anything. He was tired, the very least, by the end of the chapter. Uh, but that makes me wonder, how far up is Delta in terms of the, like, power ladder? Obviously, she's an inner, uh, so she's in the know. She's clearly one of the people, one of the people. And that makes me wonder, like, is she, like, maybe on the lower end as far as, like, powerful characters uh clearly we're gonna get more powerful characters and it's just gonna keep ramping up and ramping up but like how, like what if what if she was up against somebody that was not necessarily naruto maybe not the kids but like what if she was up against like sakura or somebody somebody that's still pretty decent uh as far as their like combat abilities but maybe not not like a god <laughs> so i'm wondering if like if she would maybe give somebody average a run for the money, uh, I don't know, it's just, it's food for thought, I guess, it's like, I wonder, I wonder how far up she really was in the inner circle, uh, as far as power goes. I'd be willing to bet that, uh, Kashin Koji, or whatever his name is, is pretty powerful, regardless of whether he turns out to be who people think he is, or what happens with him, I'd be willing to bet that he's pretty powerful, so I, I'd be willing to bet that he's maybe on the, uh, higher end of things, as far as, uh, maybe not seniority, maybe seniority, but, like, at least as far as, like, when he fights somebody for real, he's going to mess them up, and it's gonna be a tough battle for them. 
I have to say, there's not much I have left to say about this chapter other than it was just really great. Uh, I, I like the battle overall. I'm glad how it ended. Uh, it's just kind of, it's it's just generally, it wraps things up. Now they just got to maybe scoop up her body. Uh, I'm sure maybe Kashin Koji will show up and grab her. And that'll be like, oh, a tense situation. And everybody just goes off on their own. I don't know. Honestly, maybe the next chapter is like, he shows up grabs her body and naruto's like hey you look familiar and he's like nope no i don't and then they both kind of go off on their own uh we shall see uh but overall i enjoyed this chapter quite a bit i'm i'm happy with the overall fight that was going on over the last few chapters let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section what did you think of this fight yeah are you happy to see naruto kind of pick up some of the the fighting slack uh overall it's been pretty cool as for seeing him fight I really want to see more of him fight, uh, even though it is Boruto's show now. Uh, I do want to see more of Naruto and maybe have him return to form as far as him just being a chill dude. I didn't like him really a ton at the end of the normal Naruto. Maybe he could be kind of chill again. We shall see. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you thought about this chapter down below. Also, if you enjoyed this review, make sure to leave a like. It lets me know that you did enjoy it, and it's much appreciated. Also, if you want to see more from me, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so that you get all the notifications whenever I upload anything that you want to see. Uh, I guess that's all I got to say about this chapter. I will see you guys in another video. Bye-bye!